Alright, good morning fuckers and fuckettes. I got an idea here. I haven't messed with it completely yet, but I got an idea. Um, I bought one of these stabilized camera gimbals um, because I couldn't find one for a telescope that would take the... This has got a rifle mount on it, but it's also got the um, standard camera mount. That's actually threaded the same as most of my um, the shoes on the bottom of my cameras that go into the tripods. Well, no, the little one is. The big one, I don't know what the fuck that's threaded for, and I don't care. I'm a dumbass redneck, goddammit. But anyway, I um, hunted around for several days. I had a couple of buddies at computer shops and pawn shops looking for the right one for me to match the eyepiece um, for a uh, little webcam. Now, this is a 2 megapixel webcam. Um, with no audio because I don't need audio and I can seal it for the outside. All I have to do is seal a vent hole on the back. Boom, I'm done. But uh, my thought is, see right here on the bottom there's a little screw. Uh, okay, it's in there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a screw down in there. I can, there it is. I see it in the viewfinder thing. So I can take this camera off of here, and my thought is to put a ring gasket, a little piece of plastic or something on the end of the eyepiece to where I don't actually have to make contact with the eyepiece because I don't want to damage this. This is actually a pretty nice piece here. Um, I don't know if you know anything about Russian optics, but I, it, nice enough I spent a couple of days cleaning this thing. Um, it was fine in external condition, but the lens is internally, I guess, whoever made it at the factory didn't do such a good job, or somebody changed the lens along the way and got dust in it, I don't know, but I cleaned the shit out of it. But my thought is to put the little webcam in there. Now, I'll have zoom from that, um, because it's the same chip as these Logitechs webcams like I was using for the raccoons a couple years ago. Inside it's the same chip. It's just different housing is all it is. Um, and my thought is to somehow I'm thinking taking a clock motor so I can run the focus and just using the second hand and then have that little clock motor turning a little wheel turning a big wheel with a little wheel on a shaft and then another big wheel rubber to catch this. Um, I'm kind of at the thinking out loud stage and this is the only focus point on here, or focus adjustment on here. This one doesn't move. Um, it does if you take this little set screw out here, right, right here, and there's another set screw right here and another set screw right here. And then that one moves. It moves real good. Um, but you don't want to move that. <laughs> you just want to move this one. So that would overcome the focusing issue. Um, and as far as travel goes, well this is on a little post here that goes between this plastic thing in the back here. So instead of using the little post maybe... Uh, actually I might actually use that little post. Um, and have it on a, uh, put a s second ring here with an arm to catch whatever tray is holding the camera so it slides in and out as the IP suggests. And the reason I'm playing with this one is I've got a really expensive Tasco that I want to use this for but I haven't found a stabilized gimbal for it. Um, I found a lot of ready-made junk fucking um, two-axis telescope ones that are made for Tascos and stuff, but in the saltwater environment, the materials that they, they're made out of, that shit wouldn't last for the dam. Um, and unfortunately, the radar turrets that I've been working with uh, lately are a little bit too heavy to be putting on my roof, although I could get some of those surplus and may end up mounting one on the ground and getting a bigger telescope. haven't thought that through yet, but... Anyway, it's just an idea I've got. I'm not sure how I'm going to pull it off yet, but I'm thinking poor man's electronic scope. You could stare at the stars at night. 
Um, or I could put it up there on that tower and uh, <laughs> stare at the beach during the day because <laughs> that little camera in my um, dome up there, the uh, very top radio in my Wi-Fi antenna on my tower out here beside this particular shed is actually a 360 degree rotation. Um, it's got like a 30 degree up and down. It's just two axis, but um, that camera, it still works. It'll come on. I can see down to the end of the driveway. That's it. It won't move anymore. So I may end up putting one of these up there and staring at the beach again because that was kind of cool. Um, good source of free corn if you happen to live here in Venice, Florida, by the way. This little ferry beach out here, 2 o'clock in the morning, there's always somebody fucking. Um, you don't want to aim too far north, though, because just north of our ferry beach is uh, where the real ferries hang out. We call this one the ferry beach because we got a ferry that goes across. Um, that other one's the ferry beach because that's what hangs out there. Um, and I ain't got nothing against gays. I don't care if you're sucking John Holmes' dick. Just don't tell my kid that shit's okay, okay? Um, but anyway, back on the camera here. I'm into some weird shit myself. I mean, I let these women tie me down and do anything they want, but I'm only into women. But, uh, back on the little camera here. I think that would be a viable idea. I mean, I've held the camera up and looked at it through a couple of different screens and played with the zoom through the camera and played with the um, focus and... I think it wouldn't be very hard to come up with an algorithm to where if the focus ring had to move because I was focusing on, because I was looking at something in particular, um, to turn down the camera zoom and vice versa. I think if I turned up the camera zoom, I could come easily come up with an algorithm that would dial in the focus on the camera. Uh. I know that there's shit already made out there that will do this, but I want something really higher, higher quality than what I'm seeing, something that's going to survive salt water, because that's what we've got in the air. I'm less than a half mile from the intercoastal here. Um, so if anyone else has any thoughts on ways that this might be easier, Hey, spill them out in the comments. If you don't, well, hey, you just want to say, hey, fucky, you dumbass redneck, you know, you know that's what the comments, comment section are for. <laughs> I might come back with something pretty smart-ass myself. I don't know. Hell. Um, actually, <laughs> believe it or not, if I could find a rubber, I, I, I could probably pull the rubber ring and just have a piece of PVC bigger than this with a little rubber um, flapper gasket inside the back of the PVC to keep it sealed and then I would eliminate an entire moving part because this would be able to travel freely back and forth on here until the rubber degraded of course. So like I say I'm thinking out loud and it's an idea and maybe some of y'all want to stare at the stars from the comfort of your living room on that 70 inch big screen that you got your computer hooked to. So all of these modern computers hooked to something or other. I mean, all these modern TVs, every one that I've got, they've all got VGA, DVI, couple of HDMIs, composite video, S video, and I'm just buying the cheap ass Sony Bravias, but alright. That's my thoughts for the day. It's an idea that I'm working on. Um, I don't know where I'm going with it, but it's an idea. Well, how'd I tell fuckers and fuckheads later? <laughs>